Hello, in this video we're going to solve for the cost minimizing capital labor ratio. We have a firm's production function given as follows. The rental rate or price of capital is $60 and the wage rate is $45. We want to find the cost minimizing capital to labor ratio. Cost minimization requires that MRTS equals the wage divided by the rental rate of capital. We want to solve this uh, above equation for K divided by L, which is the capital labor ratio. So a few things. Uh, marginal rate of technical substitution is given by MRTS, so that's the marginal rate of technical substitution. And the marginal rate of technical substitution can be shown as the marginal product of labor divided by the marginal product of capital. So summarizing our cost minimization condition, we get this. Left-hand side is just a marginal rate of technical substitution. So let's get some marginal products. The marginal product of labor is a partial derivative of this production function up here with respect to L. So we're going to bring down the one third in front off this exponent from the L. That's why we have this all being divided by 3 here. And then 1 third minus 1 on the exponent on the L term leaves us with L raised to the minus 2 thirds power. And getting now the marginal product of capital, bringing down the 1 third in front off this exponent on K, and then 1 third minus 1 on this exponent on K leaves K raised to the minus 2 thirds power. So next, forming the marginal rate of technical substitution as the marginal product of labor divided by the marginal product of capital. Just making our substitutions from up here, we get this. Okay, moving on. So just rewriting the marginal rate of technical substitution, and now let's simplify it a little bit. Uh, first, these threes will cancel. We multiply the, the top and the bottom here, the numerator and the denominator, by 3. We'll lose the 3 terms. And then you're left with this step. And this will also simplify quite nicely following the rules of exponents. This will just equal k divided by l. So bring this k minus 2 thirds up in the, into the numerator. We get k to the 2 thirds times k to the 1 third. Adding those exponents, you just get k. And likewise, we do a similar thing with this l to the minus 2 thirds. Bring that down into the denominator, which will become then 1 over l to the 2 thirds power. And l to the 2 thirds times l to the 1 third just leaves us l in the denominator. And then the next step is here's our marginal rate of technical substitution. It's k divided by l. Going to set it equal to the ratio of the wage to the price of capital. And we said the wage was 45 and the price of capital 60. Just simplifying slightly, here we have our cost minimizing capital to labor ratio, 3 fourths. So the firm uses 3 fourths as much capital as labor in order to be minimizing the cost of production. Let's do one other example. So here, slightly different production function, slightly different prices for the inputs. What is the cost minimizing capital to labor ratio? Same idea. We're going to get the marginal rate of technical substitution and set that equal to the wage divided by the price of capital. So the marginal product of labor in this example is going to be given by this expression. And the marginal product of capital, bring the 2 down in front here. That's where this 2 is coming from. And then 2 minus 1 here on the exponent on k just leaves us with k raised to the power of 1. So rewriting. And then simplifying a little bit here. Multiplying the numerator and denominator through by 2. Oops. By 2 gives us this result here. And simplifying further, this k squared divided by k leaves us with k in the numerator. 
bringing this L to the minus 1 half down into the denominator. You're just going to have L down here in the denominator. So our next step is to set this k divided by 4l equal to the wage divided by the price of capital. Putting in our value for the wage and a price of capital. And we want to solve for the capital labor ratio, so i got to get rid of this 4 down here by multiplying through by 4. So 4 times 250 is 1,000. And so 1,000 divided by 1,000 just leaves us with a capital labor ratio here of 1. So the firm uses equal quantities of capital and labor in order to be minimizing costs given this production function and given the market input prices. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.